Но это все-таки не совсем наша проблема. Уговаривать Иран уйти с территории Сирии. Это и Сирия, и Иран. Okay, now, considering that Syria will do anything that Russia says, because Russia is the one that came in and saved them with a horrible bombing campaign, murdered tens of thousands, maybe hundred thousand, maybe more people. Uh, how can he say it's not our problem? Huh? And facts be known, Iran and Syria are the problem, right? Okay, here's the facts about Syria. I'll explain them to you the same way I explained to you the facts about Israel. Okay, 30, 40 years ago, well not 40, because I was only 10, I didn't understand it. Well, I was sat down when I was about 10 years old in Lebanon by Lebanese who were pro-Palestinian or at least anti-Israeli even though they're not anymore, they're Christians and they're very much pro-Israeli these days I think. Maybe, maybe not. In ways they are, in ways they aren't. I mean obviously they hate Israel for being there in the first place and causing all of their troubles, right? But at the same time they're more scared of the Shia and the, like Hezbollah and, and uh, whatever and the Palestinians <laughs> than they are of uh, of Israel although I wouldn't be too sure that they shouldn't be more afraid of Israel Israel has a way of killing lots of innocent people so he can't say that he can't say that he has I mean he could say uh, you know Assad get all the Iranians out of the country now he could even say hey Assad you and the Alawites you're out we're going to set up a real uh, democracy in, in uh, a representative government we're going to bring back all the Syrian people which there's 14 million of them outside of the country and the rest are either under this horrible dictatorship and being disappeared every day by the way I know you don't follow my news but uh, I get reports of Assad rounding up people and they're just the ones you hear about okay and as far as what he does with them I'll tell you what let me show you what he does with innocent people who just he doesn't trust, right? I mean, if he doesn't trust them, uh, this is what happens to him. Okay, you get the idea? If you get caught not celebrating your liberation in Syria, fuck Bashar. This guy deserves to die, Bashar al-Assad. He's done this to I mean how many of the people killed have been in prison at the time detainee number branch number something death number and then check this out and this is still going on. Report on Syria. Amnesty International says as many as 13,000 people have been hanged in a Syrian government military prison between 2011 and 2015. Amnesty calls the hangings part of a deliberate policy of extermination. The group says the majority of the 13,000 people hanged were civilians opposed to the Assad regime. This is Amnesty International's Lynn Malouf. The new findings in this report are about a systematic campaign of mass hangings whereby every week, usually on Mondays and Wednesdays, groups of detainees, of between 20 to 50 detainees, would be taken from their cells, told that they would be transferred to civilian detentions. But instead of that, they were um, taken to um, a cell in another building inside of Sidnaya where they would be hanged.
The Israeli parliament has approved a highly contentious bill. So, 